in between those sessions, one of the last things that uh, Tim had said in our conversation on April 29th was to listen for the stars song. He said, you'll know it's me when you hear the stars song. And I, again, wasn't familiar with Tim's music. Um, I'd also never listened to Coldplay before. And that weekend before I had the next session with the medium, I was cleaning my house and I had some of Tim's music playing on YouTube and um, another song came on that I had never heard before, but it was so beautiful. I'm just gonna play a few, um, a few seconds of it now. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. And I was, I was listening to these lines and thinking, this is Tim, this is gonna like just be a song that is played in tribute to him. And, and, I, and I was just turning, I was spinning around my living room with my arms out. And you know, it's so beautiful. You're a sky, you're a sky full of stars. And I just felt it so strongly that he was there. And, and, and it was like, this is my song. I wrote this, I, I wrote this or something, you know, like he had to do with this song. And, and I looked and it was a Coldplay song. And I was like, well, that's not an Avicii song. So I looked it up online and sure enough, he had co-written it and produced it and played the piano on it with Coldplay. Now, I had, I had no knowledge of this before. And the first thing when I sat down with um, the medium and like half an hour later, cause I was just about to head out the door to meet with her. She said, he's spinning around with his arms out saying, this is gonna be so big. This is gonna be so big. <laughs> and uh, it was so beautiful because that was the song that was the stars song that he had told me to listen to listen for and i and i hadn't even you know made the connection until then it was like okay There's more than we 